Welcome back everybody, Max and I here playing some more Finzy Star 4 prototype. I hate YouTube channels 2.0. That is all. Let's step into it a crack. It's a big crack. The hole. Really? And I think it's a hole. It's a crack in the earth. Talus. That's right. We're looking for this kid. A talisman. I mean, not a talus. And we have lobbies. Junior oozes. pretty tough, and they like to get the jump on us a lot. They'll give us a whole lot of experience in Mesita, though. Hey, there's something there. Don't walk past it. Child shoes. Ah, uh, kids don't wear shoes. We're going to be seeing these a, lo a lot of these guys uh, pretty often, and way to go rain. Well, I should say, we'll see them down here, but we won't see them again for a long time afterward. And so I'm like, hang on, let me like line up in front of this guy or run away from him. And then it turns out I ran into some Zal slugs. I didn't even know I could. So I said, hey, let's take advantage of this. Fusion. Now, these guys are pretty well... Uh, pretty well weak to instant death, so let's just use and eliminate and get rid of them. Alright, now. No. Let's use it items. Yes, there we go. Dimates for everyone, because we need to be fully healed. This guy... This guy could eat me alive. If I do it wrong. Like I tried to do last night. So. Let's take him down. It's mini-boss time, and what's that mean? That means no boss music. Hmm. I like the boss music. Fractus. Now, these guys are, in fact, regular enemies. I didn't try it, but they're probably... Uh, probably susceptible to instant death, though I'd have to actually try it out. Uh, Saner. I'm gonna want to get Devon up after this if I can. Ugh, that hurts. But f fortunately, Fall will actually be capable of um, of taking one more of those hits. So I said, get the bon up and have these two heal themselves with Dimates. Didn't want to waste any Stardews yet. And after we get healed up and get the bon up, fortunately, Rudy just gets hit. Now this is bad, but I said, you know, and at this point I can just use Sar. And then I decided I wanted to try crosscut, and I said to myself, no, I wanted to be shifted first. Because that would be smart. Guy through that does pretty good damage. Guy Foy does better. And he's taking less damage. Hooray! Or he took less damage. For no apparent reason. Shift Rudy. Have him heal himself. Continue dealing large amounts of damage with Guy Foy. Because all blob types are weak to, uh, to foy, or fire, in this case. Now, with the bottom up spell, cell split does a whole lot less damage, which is fortunate. And allows us to just use Sar to heal up. Ow. I said to myself, at this point, Fowl should be the one to heal because she deals the least damage of the, of the three of them. For the moment. But still, it's not bad, especially when she can avoid damage. I had her shift herself, but it wasn't necessary. She didn't get the chance to attack. There was just nothing else I could do at the pump at that moment. Well, I could have had her physically attack or something, but you know. I had to saw her one more time, but it's not gonna matter. Because at this point, we're basically assured to win. Unlike the first time I tried to take him on recently. Did you see that? 14,000 experience per person. That's amazing. Uh, Rudy got the bros technique and Rain got seals. We know what bros does. Seals just take basically makes it so that uh, all the enemies that are affected by it can't, uh, can't be... Uh, 
or can't use techniques. It might be useful, but I don't know of any of them that use techniques that, that uh, that's effective on. I'll have to, uh, I actually should probably look that up. But anyways, uh, so he runs off and doesn't get eaten again, apparently. I thought of checking my status. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. Can't help it sometimes. Just I don't. I've been tired so much recently. Couldn't remember. Oh, I, I should say I knew there was nothing down here, but I felt like showing everybody. And of course, epic victory music interrupted by Junior Oozes. Junior Oozes, who still want to uh, want to uh, get the jump on us every time. And Sar is just so. Oh yeah, I accidentally used seals there. That was a mistake. Uh, and I used it again because Fallen Root needed, or I was going to, but, eh, whatever. Anyways, let's just try to get out of here. Hey, mates, I'm almost out. It won't matter. But that was actually a pretty good, uh, boost to their experience because the next person who joins, I think, joins at level 22. And then there's literally like one fight, and then they'll join at, uh, and then the next person will join at level like 25. So, and I felt like uh, doing this just for the sake of it. Those guys are weak to fire, so Firestorm is really powerful. And the fact that I set up a, uh, a combo freeform. Alright, let's go and visit the mother and, and uh, have her send the money to the deal, to the bleh, guild. We can no longer enter the crack. The hole. Okay, I need to stop talking now. I mustn't? Mustn't? Yeah, I keep... I hate having to talk to the buns that keep moving. Okay. Let's get back to Ayado. And actually we'll enter the town. Because although we have so much money, and pay no attention to me, I'm just going to run into a wall. Um... We have so much money that it just really doesn't matter. But, you know, I wanted to do all the jobs anyways. And plus, that experience was worth it. That experience was so worth it. And I was honestly, right here, usually, you know, Rudy and Fall will say something to each other, but they didn't, and it made me all confused. And so I wound up talking to her again, and there's no more jobs. The last four jobs will all appear, like, almost all at once. I think you might be able to do two of them. Well, I'm trying to think. All of them will require us to get a new vehicle. So, no, we're not going to be able to do them. So anyways, we rest up at the airport, Ugh. go to Zelon, and this is really neat. Blast off. And the music is good for this too, I, I like this. It's simple, but it's catchy. Man-made satellite, which I think was called artificial satellite in the final. And it looks very complicated, but it's not. Aw, you don't get to hear the music much more. There's more to that song, but you don't get to hear it. Let's walk up here. And say hello to... Forn. Wow, you're huge! <laughs> Especially considering Rudy is so tiny in comparison. He's so short. So he is in control, only he's not in control.
and somehow he recognized Fall, even though he's never seen her before. Now, maybe Reyna managed to get uh, communications out to Foreign in, in order to say, hey, these guys are going to show up on your doorstep. But, you know. And yeah, they're best pals. <laughs> um, I started this cutscene, and I knew I wasn't going to have time to finish it. I honestly knew. Well, I didn't know. But, uh, we are... It's going to cut off... I'm not even going to be able to be stopping the, uh, the text moving, you know, temporarily. It's just going to kind of happen. It's just going to kind of happen in, like, ten seconds. So when we come back, we'll be continuing our little cutscene, maybe getting a new party member, and we're going to be heading off to Curan in order to try to fix the problems. See ya.